What's up, good people? All right, all right, we're back. It is February 4th. Super Bowl's about to kick on pretty soon here. Um, we're at the shop. We got the rose. Rose needs to be washed after yesterday's crazy cars and coffee, dirty cars and coffee, we'll call it. Um, but check it out, check it out, check it out. Here's the thing. I got to say something real quick. I feel like every time I post a video on the toaster, aka the Scion XB, but you guys feel like I'm snaky. You guys feel like I'm snaky because in reality, you don't want to see the toaster, do you? It's a muscle channel. You want to see Impala footage. You want to see Challenger footage, SS footage coming soon. But I love, I love my Scion. I love my toaster. And guess what? Today, we're doing another mod to the toaster. <laughs> This is what's going on. That's right, good people. We are going to sound deaden the toaster. Sound deadening the toaster. I got my buddy Jesse in the house today at the shop. What's up, Jesse? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. We should be getting ready to watch the Super Bowl. But uh yeah, we're workaholics. So you guys may remember Jesse. Jesse's uh, my, my homeboy from uh, Custom Car Alarms that uh, hooked up the Impala with touchscreen sound. Um, you did the, the speakers and amp, and we did the whole thing in the Impala, right? Nice, nice. So now Jesse's here. We're working, and then I sold it. <laughs> Dude, please don't don't join those masses, man. The subscribers are still not forgiving me for selling the Impala. So here's the thing. Um, you guys probably never will know this, but the reality is when they made the Scion XB, especially this, the first gen, when they made the Scion XB, it was a cheap solution to get a younger demographic onto Toyota. I mean, the entire Scion brand was created to get a younger demographic for the Toyota uh, Corporation. And in order to do that, people who are in college, um, they were even you know, hoping that they could get you know, people to buy these cars for like high schoolers, college students, and young professionals straight out of college. They had to make it cheap. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Scion XB, when it was new, was about $12,000 on the dealer lot. That's how much it, it was going for in 2006, 2005. So uh, in order to make it 15, under $15,000, they had to skip on a lot of things. One being insulation insulation jesse you want to give them just a just a brief synopsis of what it's like as far as insulation and a first gen scion xp so this is the beginning so that door there so that door's been treated this door hasn't so okay. this is i mean you can see the panel flex and kind of sounds like a tin can when you close it yeah when you come to this side when you tap on it Oh wow. I mean that feels solid. Yeah. That feels like European car. And even when you shut it. Here, I'm gonna go in this side. Again, this is a fully treated panel. We've got the Roadkill Ultimate on the inner outer door skin and even on the door panel itself, but I mean it just sounds Yeah. Like you hear that. Kind of. Yeah. It just sounds like a tin can. Shout out to the mop doing all the <laughs> Straight hood. Got the mop. <laughs> These guys know why the mop's holding. They they know why the mop is holding up the door. They saw that episode. Fair enough. Fair the Taj enough. fail. I mean, with the panels, everything just resonates horribly. So uh. what this does, this is our Stinger Ultimate Roadkill. So this has a closed cell foam on top. You've got your aluminum back and you've got a layer of butyl there. So what that does is it adds density to the panel so it doesn't resonate as much. Um, and with that, lower road noise the sound levels are a lot quieter i mean for instance this is this was toyota's sound deadening that they had in here i mean these are just strips of carpet on the roof <laughs> which 
all the carpet in here doesn't even add up to the weight of a sheet of this roadkill ultimate wow. so so look at it this way all right we're doing a toaster mod and yes this is a muscle channel and i know you guys could care less about my scion and how much i love it but what we're doing you might want to apply to your challenger your ss your impala i while he's working on that i have to finish polishing out this beauty here 1996 911 turbo or is it 996 turbo i don't know how i don't know how Porsche names the car this thing is pretty fancy pretty nice i mean it's 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 got that that mid 90s feel to it the funny thing is like i'm not much of a porsche guy i'm a muscle guy you guys know that and um when a client dropped it off you know he was very careful and like he picked us for a reason to bring it here to the shop and all that that's great but you know i was thinking in my head like i don't know it's worth twenty thousand. i don't know i go to look it up just to see what the value was on kbb how about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars so this thing is worth more now, almost twice my now, what it was worth when it was brand new. You know, it's funny, you could have spent the same amount of money on diamonds back in 96, and this would probably get you more of a return on your investment than diamonds. That's crazy. This is crazy. So we got most of the floor. Most of the floor is done. Still gotta do part of the tunnel. Okay. We're gonna do the sides right here. I'm gonna do a little bit okay. of the top there and then and then the rest of the roof. The roof, yeah. Which is the roof's little, on fire. The most exciting part. One thing I will say about Porsche paint jobs is Porsche paint loves to be polished. Super easy to polish. If you don't know what you're doing, you can definitely ruin the paint, burn into the paint. But if you know what you're doing, it is a breeze to polish Porsche, Porsche paint. Say that really fast. Say that three times. Polish Porsche paint. Yeah, see, I can't. I can't even do one. Doors are done. Most part, it's laid out on the floor. Jesse's gonna find a couple areas on the roof. Not sure how well you guys can see that. Uh, it's been placed all over the roof. Still got to do the rear hatch on Taj's failed rear hatch. That's got a real like thump to it. I do tell the difference. I tap it versus like tapping it. That's how they all sounded before. Now it's got a serious phone to it. Check, check. One, two, two, two. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, it does sound a little less cavernous now. Granted, my, um, my interior is not in the car. When I put the interior in the car, I think it's gonna really, really sound a lot deader. Went with a Stinger Ultimate Roadkill. together it's coming back together you know what I'm gonna take this time in the video to let you guys know that yes this is another giveaway video we're gonna give away a chemical guys mystery box and the reason why we're giving away one in this one is because the last mystery box that we gave away 
the winner never actually claimed his box. Same rules uh, as applied to all the other videos. All you have to do is be a subscriber, comment in the box below, and I will let you know in the next video. But you gotta watch the next video all the way to the end, because that's when I let you know. Yeah, look at there. That was somehow in the car. I'm assuming, what, under the back seat? It, it was actually under this back panel. It was under the back yeah, panel. Yeah, so as I took everything out, I found it and I said, well, Taj fishes. Maybe we're going to go on a fishing trip. It's not the case. I mean, I don't fish either, but. I haven't owned a car since it was new, so yeah, but. Ah, interesting. That's it, folks. I think we're done. Are we done? I think we're done. We're done. The toaster is back together. All nice and pretty. It's a relative word. A lot of things, not pretty. Check, check. Nice. It's all back together. Top it, top it. Let's do it. Oh, there's, there's change. Let's get, the, let's get the nipple out of here. All right, here we go. Closing the door. All right. I can hear a difference. I can hear it now. Here we go. Whoa. It already... Yeah, I heard that. One more time. Let's do it one more time. All right, you ready? All right. Yeah. That door's heavy, too. Yeah. Though. That... That's door girth. <laughs> yeah, that's. Do hear just a more like muffled sound in general, um, and it doesn't. It doesn't sound like the back window is open all the time. That was the main thing that I had the issue with before. Was um, I would be driving and like there was so little insulation that like I would sometimes look back to just make sure my rear windows were closed because they would sound like they were open. So, um, I d it doesn't feel like that anymore. Um, it's still, I mean, it's, you know, it's not the Rolls Royce. Um, it's not the Challenger, you know, yes, it's, it's not, it's not a high-end car, but it's definitely way more muffled than it was, uh, 24 hours ago. Um, so yeah, I think, I think the Stinger, um, Ultimate is, uh, it's definitely worth it definitely worth it um, yeah it's now the car also feels heavier um, and that's something to consider it feels a lot heavier uh, you know the, the Scion X it only has 103 horsepower so you know it's if you know you add 90 pounds to the car you're gonna feel it um, but you know it's not it's not the car driving speed so that is what it is but yeah it's definitely heavier it's more muffled um, it wasn't a complete 100 fix, 100% fix, but I'll say I'm happy with it um, overall because I mean, it was just so loud in here, you know, that uh, it was, you know, it was hard to even like have a, a conversation. Now it's like you can still feel bumps, you can still like hear stuff, but it's just muffled, you know, it's like you got your hands over your ears now. Does that make sense? So anyway, this has been Taj and Cars. I know you guys hate it when I do toaster mods. This will probably be the last Toaster Mod for a little while. I might be coming back with one next month. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.